Um, today, I would like to share with you my story with uh, novel long chain bio based monomers for polygon condensation polymers with designed properties. Before I will tell you something about the novel monomers, I would like to introduce you our research group, Intelligence in Process and Advanced Catalysis and Solvents at uh, University of Antwerp, when I am currently a postdoc. Our mission is optimization of sustainability of chemical processes and material cycles, focus on early assessment and uh, broad catalyst expertise. Uh, we have at the moment a few projects running at our research group. Uh, for example, catalyst heterogenization, chemical depolymerization, novel monomers for bioplastic production, which I will extend a little more today. Also, life cycle assessment and techno-economical analysis, and also use of designer solvent. So why new monomers? Why did I start uh, a research with uh, this topic? If we look on the plastic market, we can consider two main group of uh, polymers. From one side, we have uh, semi-crystalline polyolefins like polyethylene, polypropylene, PVC with very good properties, but not biodegradable and with limited recycling possibilities. At the moment, only mechanical recycling of pyrolysis are possible. On the other side, we have traditional polycondensate with wider option of recycling. For example, very popular recently chemical recycling, and even some of them are uh, biodegradable. The disadvantage of these polymers is lower application because of higher polarity, lower stability and lower chemical resistance in comparison with polyolefins. So our research question is, can we fill the gap between the commercially available um, polyolefins and um, polycondensate? And the answer is yes. Uh, we could use long chain monomers for polycondensation polymers. Why? Because they can structurally be similar to polyethylene and therefore they could mimic uh, some properties of polyethylene. For example, definitely we decrease the polarity of the polymer since ester and amide group occur uh, less than in traditional polycondensate and hence we increase the stability and chemical resistance, but we are not closing the door to chemical recycling and even to biodegradation. So where could we find a source of such molecules which could be used to synthesize long chain monomers? And oleochemicals seems like a perfect starting materials. Why? Because they offer long chain molecule with a multiple functionality. For example, as on slide presented here, oleic acid. And indeed, the most interesting are unsaturated free fatty acids because they naturally possess two functionality, carboxylic group and double bond. In this place, somebody could say, hey, be careful, you want to use the oil which found a huge application in the food industry, in the cosmetics, so automatically you will generate a higher demand on vegetable oils on the market. But for uh, this argument, we also find a solution. At the moment, there is a big stock of waste cooking oil, which can be used as a starting material in our technology. At the moment, exist a lot of methods to convert oils into fatty acid or fatty alcohols. So once again, why alpha omega B functional compounds? Because we could synthesize a novel type of polyester or for example, polyamides. So this is the main goal of uh, my research. Let's have a look on the current situation on the market. Are there some long chain alpha omega B functional molecules, monomers? Yes, they are. They are commercially available, but they are relatively expensive. It's because of the chemistry which is used to synthesize such monomers. In our research, we developed a new methods and a little bit different molecules, which you can see here on the right side. They are novel and we call them ether type monomers because the ether bond is symmetrically located in the molecule, but they are still long chain, so they possess a lot of carbons. How did we synthesize them? So our state of art 
is the functionalization of long chain D alkyl ethers. So the first main goal was synthesize long chain D alkyl ether, which in the next step could be functionalized into alpha omega B functional compound. At the beginning, to check if our uh, idea worked, we used we use standard Williamson method of ether synthesis, but as you know, it is not a green method, it is not a um, sustainable method. Therefore, we found another method which we optimize and uh, we obtain more green and sustainable method to obtain such molecules. In this method, we use dimethyl carbonate as a starting material and hydrotarsate as a catalyst. And this method it is definitely more sustainable because we use a heterogeneous catalyst. Hydrotarsate, which is naturally occurring mineral, is a heterogeneous catalyst, which after the action can be easily recovered and reused. And dimethyl carbonate is also recognized as a green solvent. So let me present you some example of our new ether type long chain monomers and I compare them with the commercially available or in general known from literature long chain monomers as and as you can see we deliver to the market a new molecule so we are not competitor to the monomers which already exist but we can deliver a new one which could bring a new properties of the plastic which might be synthesized from this monomers. For example, looking on the melting points of different monomers, you see all of them are different. And those new ether type long chain monomers were patented two years ago by our research group. Uh, we did the same with the long chain dials. We also synthesized two different type long chain dials. One is from oleic acid, another one is from erucic acid. And we compared with the commercially available or known from literature long chain dials. So what is the next step and what we are currently busy now is to perform the model polymerization and to check if our monomers are suitable to synthesize polymers and uh, that's area of the collaboration. We are looking for a partner who could help us with that. So first of all, we are searching for partners in polymerization process and characterization. But of course, our monomers could find also application in the other formulation, for example, as a copolymer, which could be also very interesting. And the third also important part is the biodegradation test, since we are more chemically orientated research group and we don't have that much expertise in the bio thing. Uh, we'd like to also start some collaboration and uh, testing if our um, polymers are biodegradable. So as a conclusion, I can say that we generate kind of comprehensive toolbox uh, to be used in the conception and design of several possible conversion schemes, especially for the synthesis of the alpha omega B functional compounds as a perfect building blocks in organic chemistry, polymer chemistry and uh, other area of uh, industry. So thank you very much for your attention.